As a Salesforce admin, you can set up your org to allow admins or support users to log in as another user. Sitting down next to your users for testing and troubleshooting isn't always an option if you have users around the globe. Logging in as end users can help you troubleshoot user issues and test customizations and changes to user permissions. This feature gives you the ability to better understand what the user is experiencing firsthand. Depending on security requirements, you can also configure your org to require that users grant access to the admin or support user before they're able to log in as them. Before we get into the org to see how this works, let's set some ground rules. Although this feature allows an admin to log in as another user, usernames and passwords are never shared or used. Think of this more as an impersonation. You're impersonating the user's experience as though you are logged in as them. With that in mind, it's important to note that any changes made while you're logged in as an end user even accidental ones, will register as a change by that user and not you. Because it's not a true login, you won't see a record of this impersonation on the user's login history. Where it does show up is the setup audit trail with timestamps for when you logged in and logged out as that user. This is helpful in orgs with multiple admins or if needed for auditing purposes. Unless an admin has requested that Salesforce remove this ability, there are two options for admins to log in as end users. One, users can grant access to the admin for a period of time. Two, if a setting called administrators can log in as any user is enabled and set up, admin permissions allow login as any of your users. Let's take a look at these options in the org. In this org, we don't currently have the setting turned on that allows admins to log in as any end user, unless the end user first grants them permission. To do this, the user would click on their photo and go to settings. On the left-hand menu, they'll click the option that says grant login access. If an end user wants to allow an admin to log in as them, they'll set the access duration and click save. As an admin, this is where you'll come if you need to grant Salesforce support access to log in as you for help troubleshooting. If I want to change this setting, it's done in setup. To get to setup, I'll click the gear icon in the top right-hand corner and click setup. Using the quick find on the left-hand menu, I'll search for login access policies. Here I'll see the setting that allows admins to log in as any user. I can check the box to enable this and save this setting. To have this feature removed from your org, contact Salesforce support. Now that we've enabled administrators can log in as any user, let's see how it can be used. Pia's manager noticed there are a lot of accounts in Salesforce that are missing phone numbers and asked Pia to help enter this information as it will improve data quality. In order to do this, Pia needs edit access to the account object and the phone field. The admin decides to create a new permission set to give this ability and assign it to Pia. When changing permissions, it's a good practice to test the permission. For us, that means logging in as Pia to make sure that she can edit an account record. Let's give it a try. In setup, I'm going to clear out my previous search from the left-hand menu. And if I scroll down, I can expand the users section and then click on users. An easy way to find a user from my list is to first sort by full name. My list of users are already sorted by full name as indicated by this arrow. Then I can use the alphabet in the top right-hand corner. Pia's last name is Larson, so I'm going to click L for Larson, and I'll find Pia's user record. To the left of her name, I'm going to click Login. I'm now impersonating Pia, and I have a bar at the top that reminds me that I'm logged in as her. Any changes I make logged in as Pia will register as a change that she made. 
we need to make our way to the Accounts tab. And I can click on a specific account to make sure that she has the ability to edit the phone number. I'll click on the Details tab to view the account fields. And if I hover over the phone field, I can click on the pencil icon to edit. As Pia, I'm going to enter a phone number. And if I click Save, it allows me to save that change. This confirms that Pia has the right ability that she needs. As always, don't forget to click Log Out at the top of the page to log out as the end user. One last thing we'll look at in my org is the Setup Audit Trail. Using the Quick Find, I'll look for the Setup Audit Trail. This tracks my metadata changes in my org including when I logged in as Pia and when I logged out as her. Logging in as end users is a huge help when managing users and testing changes. Seeing exactly what your users see allows you to troubleshoot more effectively, verify permissions, and test new functionality. Being able to help my users more effectively is a win-win. Take a look at what's enabled in your own org and keep this option in mind to help your users.